While stationed abroad, Lt. Chris Wilson got a note from a friend indicating that his wife was disposing of all their furniture. To surprise his wife and daughter, he requested an early leave. Upon personally witnessing the living conditions of his daughter, he confirmed his suspicions that something was amiss. Chris, a devoted husband and father, found his mind frequently drifting back to his family during his military deployment. His steadfast faith was the cornerstone that sustained him through the separation, however, his resilience was tested when he received an unsettling text from a friend back home, igniting a whirlwind of concern and urgency within him. Compelled to witness the situation firsthand, Chris managed to secure an early flight, returning home a full month ahead of schedule. He envisioned a heartwarming surprise for his family, eagerly anticipating the joy of an unexpected reunion. As Chris approached his home, his heart was filled with a mix of excitement and trepidation, unaware of the profound surprises that awaited him. He believed he would be the bearer of joy, yet unbeknownst to him, his wife harbored a secret that involved their daughter, a revelation that would soon come to light. Upon inserting his key and stepping through the front door, Chris was greeted not by the familiar warmth and laughter of his home, but by a stark, unsettling emptiness, the living room, which once held their cozy, cherished furniture, was now bare, echoing the hollow feeling settling in his chest. This alarming sight was only the beginning of a deeper narrative yet to unfold. Reflecting on his prolonged absence, Chris couldn't help but feel a twinge of regret. His career as a lieutenant in the military demanded much from him, often pulling him away from the simple joys of family life, like attending barbecues and watching Disney movies with his daughter. These moments, though simple, were the threads that wove the fabric of their close-knit family life. Despite being a compassionate and caring man, Chris's responsibilities extended beyond the domestic sphere. His role in the military placed upon him burdens and expectations far exceeding those of his subordinates. The demands of his duty often met long tours and significant sacrifices, affecting not just him but his loved ones as well. As Chris stood amidst the echoes of his once vibrant home, he realized the full weight of his sacrifices and the impact of his absence. The journey ahead would be one of discovery, adaptation, and healing, as he sought to mend the frayed edges of his family life while balancing the demanding duties of his military career. Chris deeply missed his beloved wife, especially since he wasn't present for the birth of their daughter, an absence that weighed heavily on his heart with regret, despite the physical distance. Chris believed firmly that his daughter felt a strong bond of love and understanding with him, even though their interactions were limited to his infrequent visits, he clung to the hope that his wife, too, understood the sacrifices he had to make. Chris had committed himself to serving his country, a duty that called him away from home, and he hoped his wife appreciated the necessity of his service, despite his absence. Chris made every effort to support his family financially. Sending most of his earnings back home from the military base where he was stationed, he knew that without his contributions, his family might struggle to maintain their standard of living, as his wife also worked to support their household. His dedication to ensuring their well-being was unwavering, and he hoped it was enough to sustain their life comfortably. After three months of active duty, Chris received an unexpected message from Kenny, a close friend from his hometown of Dallas, Texas. Keeping in touch with friends had always been a challenge for Chris, given his commitments, and he typically relied on Kenny for updates on local happenings and minor news. However, this message was different and urgent, focusing on his wife in a way that Kenny had never done before. Startled by the content of the message, Chris realized he needed to act quickly. Between his shifts, he read the disturbing news about his wife that Kenny had relayed. And he knew he had to return home as soon as possible. His next steps were clear. He needed to request leave immediately and contact an administrator to facilitate his return. This sudden development left Chris anxious and filled with a sense of urgency, as he prepared to confront the unexpected issues waiting for him at home, issues that Kenny had never mentioned before. Until that very moment, Chris had not been overly concerned. But the nature of the recent messages about his wife had ignited his suspicions. Compelled by the unsettling news, he decided to request a leave of absence from work. As Chris read the message, his eyes widened in shock. Chris, I thought you should know. Your wife is selling your furniture. Questions and alarms rang in his head. What exactly was she doing with their belongings? The timing posed an additional problem. Chris wasn't scheduled to leave for another month. Feeling a mix of emotions, he could only manage a smile while he strategized his next steps. Without delay. Chris approached the Army base's administration office to formally request some time off. 
his excellent service record bolstered his hopes that his request would be granted swiftly, although the request needed to be processed, which might take a day. Chris was anxious and entirely preoccupied with thoughts of what was transpiring at home. Was his wife planning to leave him and just hadn't found the courage to tell him yet? All he could do was wait and see how the situation would unfold. Chris was known for his tendency to overthink, a trait that often overshadowed his other commendable qualities. This characteristic was particularly prominent when he was away from home, as his mind would frequently conjure up worst-case scenarios about what might be happening in his absence. On one such night, as he lay in his bunk, his thoughts spiraled uncontrollably, pondering every possible mishap that could befall his beloved home while he was away. Despite not being frequently at home due to his commitments, his house held a significant place in his heart, as it was the sanctuary for everything he cherished. As he busied himself with daily tasks at the base, his anxiety about the state of his home loomed large. That afternoon, a wave of relief washed over him when he received an email from the faculty. Confirming his leave request had been approved, eager to ensure everything was as it should be, Chris immediately booked a flight home, filled with a mixture of excitement and apprehension. Chris boarded the plane, clutching a photograph of his young daughter and wife. The joy of returning home was tinged with the fear of the unknown. What would he find upon his return? Could his home have changed dramatically during his absence? Upon landing, Chris's heart raced as he took a cab from the airport to his neighborhood. His eyes searched for any signs that might indicate a drastic change, like a for sale sign on his lawn or visible disrepair. However, as the cab approached his driveway, the house appeared unchanged from the outside, just as he had left it three months earlier. This observation both reassured and unnerved him as he stepped out of the cab. With each step towards the front door, a sense of dread built up inside him, turning the key in the lock, he braced himself for what he might discover inside. As the door swung open, the first thing Chris noticed was the absence of the familiar couch in the living room. A quick survey revealed that many other pieces of furniture were also missing. His heart sank as he proceeded upstairs, hoping for some clue that would explain the unsettling changes, knowing his daughter would be at school. He had not expected his wife to be home at this hour either. As Chris navigated through the eerily quiet house, he was about to stumble upon something that would shake him to his core, confronting a scenario he had never anticipated. From the bedroom, Chris heard the familiar sound of his wife's voice, followed by a distinctly unfamiliar male voice, confirming his fears that she was not alone. The moment deepened his introspection about the paths his life had taken. Powerless against the demands of his military duties and their long separations, he couldn't help but wonder if she had found solace in the company of another. As he neared the bedroom door, his emotions surged, a mix of betrayal and anguish heating his blood. Confrontations were far from his preference, yet this betrayal seemed to push him past his limits. Driven by a blend of military precision and raw emotion, Chris forcefully opened the door. His training had always prepared him to face any threat head-on, and he was ready to defend his ground. However, the scene before him wasn't what he had braced for. His wife and a stranger lay on a bed in the corner of the room, but there was no sign of distress. Quite the opposite, the shock rendered him momentarily immobile, his mind struggling to piece together the tableau before him. The room itself seemed in disarray, with the bed stripped of its sheets and duvet. Seemingly prepped for removal, Tears began streaming down his wife's face upon noticing his presence, a mix of emotions playing across her features. It was clear that any explanation would need to be substantial to navigate the gravity of the situation, adding to the complexity was the presence of a man dressed in a boiler suit. Chris realized this must have been the source of the other male voice he'd heard. The presence of this man, coupled with the disheveled state of the room, hinted at circumstances that Chris hadn't initially considered. What was this man doing here, and what was his role in the day's unexpected events? The answers to these questions would determine much about the future of their relationship. Chris stood immobilized by the door, his mind reeling from the scene before him. It was as if he had walked into one of those intense drama films he occasionally watched with his wife. Never in his life had he encountered a situation as surreal as this one. His wife, on the other hand, seemed overjoyed at his arrival, rushing to embrace him as tears streamed down her cheeks. She seemed desperate to explain herself. The man standing with her appeared to be their unofficial business, which somewhat alleviated Chris's initial panic. Yet, myriad questions bubbled in Chris's mind, demanding answers. He resolved to delve into these mysteries with his wife, though she suggested a more private conversation in the kitchen, before he could respond. 
Chris made his first error, driven by a surge of curiosity and concern. He peeked into his daughter's room as he made his way downstairs. His heart sank at the sight. Several pillows scattered on the floor in the stark absence of her bed. Anger and distress washed over him. Why was his little princess forced to sleep on the floor? What dire circumstances had led to this? Upon entering the kitchen, Chris's anxiety morphed into urgency. Not a single piece of furniture was in sight. What's happening here? Why is her bed missing? Why is she sleeping on the floor? He demanded. His wife, looking resigned and a bit distracted, simply replied. You don't need to worry about her sleeping on the floor. Her nonchalant response only fueled his worst fears. Was his family moving out without his knowledge? Just then, his thoughts were interrupted as the man he had seen earlier descended the stairs, announcing that the bed was ready to go. A whirlwind of thoughts raced through Chris's mind as he watched the stranger maneuver the bed. Seizing an opportunity, Chris offered to help carry the mattress to the van parked outside. His military training kicked in, using the task as a tactical move to gather more information from the stranger. As they loaded the bed, Chris was determined to uncover the truth of the unsettling changes in his household, under the guise of offering assistance. Chris found himself helping load a mattress into a van, pondering his next move. As he assisted the man, identified only as Chris, a quick plan formed in his mind, he would seize the opportunity to ask a crucial question away from the ears of his wife. Once the mattress was secured in the back of the van, Chris turned to face the man, a glint of strategy in his eye. With a warm smile, he pulled out his wallet, extracting a $10 bill as a token of his gratitude for the man's help. Then, he casually dropped his question, so, where is this mattress headed, anyway? Caught off guard, the stranger fell into Chris's conversational trap, replying, Oh, to my house, of course. Now, it was Chris who was taken aback. His mind raced as he processed the situation, his subtle trick seeming to backfire. Why would his wife give their furniture to this apparent stranger? Could there be a deeper connection between them than Chris had ever considered? His initial deception not yielding the clarity he hoped for, Chris decided it was time for a more direct approach. He asked the man outright how he knew Chris's wife and what was really going on. A defensive shade crossed the man's expression, but he offered an explanation nonetheless. I'm not sure what you're implying, but your wife has been unhappy with your current furniture for months. I bought these pieces from her because she offered them at a fair price. The explanation hit home, and Chris felt a mix of relief and confusion. It wasn't the conspiracy he had feared, but the revelation brought up new concerns. Why would his wife sell their furniture without discussing it with him first? As he stood in the driveway, lost in thought, he weighed every piece of information he had gathered. What could possibly justify his wife's decision to sell their belongings? Determined to confront her, Chris re-entered the house, where his wife awaited, ready to explain her actions. Yet, as he looked around at the familiar setting, a pang of doubt held him back. How could she justify leaving their daughter to sleep on the hard floor? Now inside, Chris noticed his wife standing there, her expression a mixture of anticipation and concern. Ready to unveil the reasons behind her mysterious actions. In the quiet solitude of the kitchen, she stood motionless, her gaze fixed on the floor, a cloud of sadness enveloping her features. Her husband, Chris, noticing her distress, felt a surge of concern that only deepened his curiosity about the underlying issue. He pulled up a chair beside her, sensing that it was time for a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. As he settled in, he looked over at his wife with a mix of apprehension and resolve. Gathering his thoughts, Chris finally voiced the question that had been gnawing at him. I spoke to the stranger outside earlier, he began cautiously, and he mentioned you were selling our furniture to him, how could you decide to let our daughter sleep on the floor? At his words, she broke down, tears streaming down her cheeks, revealing the gravity of their situation far exceeded his initial thoughts, through her sobs, she confessed the harsh reality they faced, due to financial troubles, I had to make some tough choices to ensure we could afford basic necessities like groceries, water, and electricity, she explained, her voice heavy with sadness. Chris was stunned as he listened, struggling to grasp the full extent of their plight. For the past three months, unbeknownst to him, his family had been spiraling into financial despair. I didn't want to worry you while you were deployed with the military, she continued, explaining her silence on their worsening circumstances. As the reality sank in, Chris felt a profound sense of responsibility and regret. He hadn't realized the dire state of their household finances and the impact of his inability to provide. 
The thought of his wife and daughter enduring such hardships in his absence was heart-wrenching, but amidst the despair, he remembered a recent incident at work that might offer a glimmer of hope. Chris had been part of a high-stakes military training exercise that had gone awry, displaying quick thinking and bravery. He had managed to save his squad from a dangerous grenade mishap. His actions hadn't gone unnoticed. His superiors had commended his bravery with a recommendation for a promotion and a raise, an update he had yet to share with his family, hoping to surprise them under happier circumstances. Now, facing the stark reality at home, Chris knew he had to reveal his good news sooner than planned. This potential promotion and raise could be the lifeline they needed. With a newfound determination, he began to outline a plan to ensure that his family would never have to sleep on the floor again. Chris felt a mix of sadness for the current state and hope for the future, driven by the possibility of providing his family with the stability and comfort they desperately needed. With his wife deciding that it was time to come clean, Chris sat down to have a heartfelt conversation about the recent changes in his job and the unfortunate demotion from lieutenant due to a mishap at work. Despite this setback, Chris shared a silver lining. He had been offered a promotion that promised to stabilize their financial situation, allowing them to upgrade their living conditions significantly. He excitedly told his wife about his plans to purchase new beds for everyone in the family, hoping to lift their spirits and restore comfort to their household. When Chris's daughter returned from school, her initial excitement at seeing her father quickly turned to sadness as she shared the difficulties she and her mother had endured during his absence. Chris listened with a heavy heart but remained resolute in his promise to make things right. He assured his daughter that he would take every step necessary to improve their lives, including making sure she would never have to sleep on the floor again. However, when his daughter mentioned a system of punishment, Chris's concern grew. He gently asked her to explain what she meant, and although she was hesitant at first, she eventually opened up about a reward and punishment system her mother had put in place for not completing her homework. Chris felt a wave of relief wash over him, realizing the situation was not as severe as he had feared. He understood his wife's intentions to maintain discipline without adding to his stress, with a reassuring smile. Chris showed his daughter a photo of the new pink princess bed he had ordered for her, reiterating his promise that she would never have to sleep on the floor again as long as he was around. This gesture helped to restore a sense of safety and joy in his daughter, marking a new beginning for the family. After listening to this tale, what are your impressions? We'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. Your insights are valuable to us. Now, we have another engaging story. Let's proceed to the next one. Some shifts for police officers can be quite calm, while others are filled with action, danger, or excitement. The level of activity is generally determined by the events occurring within their jurisdiction and the nature of incoming 911 calls. In such settings, situations can change swiftly, often unexpectedly, due to a variety of potential scenarios that could emerge. Therefore, police officers must be ready for anything. This is especially true in bustling urban areas like Charlotte, North Carolina, a city bustling with more than 850,000 inhabitants, making it one of the most densely populated areas in the state. Charlotte is famous for attractions such as the NASCAR Hall of Fame and the Carolina's Aviation Museum. In 2016, this lively city was the residence of a young boy named Jaden Hooker. Jaden, who lived with his mother Deanna, was noted for his curiosity and kindness. His teachers saw his potential early, identifying him as a gifted child with a high likelihood of academic success. Despite personal hurdles, including the absence of his father for over a year, Jaden remained hopeful and consistently endeavored to bring happiness to those around him. Jaden admired his mother, Deanna, who had taught him the values of generosity and selflessness. Despite the financial hardships she faced as a diligent single mother working at a local factory, she always made her son's well-being and happiness her priority. Their strong bond was apparent in their daily interactions, sharing details of their days and supporting each other through the highs and lows of life. Residing near the heart of Charlotte, Jaden and his mother were familiar with the city's pulse. Their lives, often marked by simple pleasures, were about to change dramatically due to a sudden tragedy that struck their community overnight. This incident would not only affect their local area but also capture the attention of the entire city. As they prepared for the difficult times ahead, Jaden made a request to his mother that was so extraordinary it promised to affect many lives. Aware of the sacrifices his mother made and the significance of his request, Jaden was resolute in seeing it through, for Deanna. 
fulfilling this request for her son, given its potential importance to others, was imperative. Together, they were set to undertake a journey that would test their resilience and highlight the deep connection between mother and son as they faced the challenges ahead. On the morning of September 22, 2016, an event occurred that would engrave a lasting impression on young Jaden's existence, in Charlotte, North Carolina, an incident involving police officer Brentley Vincent, who fatally shot 43-year-old Keith Lamont Scott, initially left many details unclear, leading to a flurry of questions regarding the reasons and context of the shooting. As news of the incident proliferated, the local community's tension intensified, sparking numerous protests and counter-protests. Amid this chaos, Jaden, a compassionate five-year-old boy, was significantly touched by the distress and turmoil affecting his community, despite his tender age. Jaden was acutely conscious of the emotional tension surrounding him. His mother, Deanna, initially attempted to protect him from the grim realities outside their home, yet, recognizing his sensitivity to the situation, she chose to be transparent and discuss the events in terms they both could comprehend. The realization that many in his city were suffering deeply moved Jaden. He felt an urgent desire to make a positive impact, undeterred by his young age, Deanna. Both surprised and proud of her son's empathetic response, fully supported him. She encouraged him to continue thinking of ways he could aid those around him, promising to help him bring any ideas he had to fruition. As the demonstrations carried on for the next two days, affecting the entire city of Charlotte, Jaden's determination only strengthened, the city was shrouded in a tangible sense of unrest, and the oppressive atmosphere weighed heavily on the minds of its inhabitants. Including the young Jaden, the ongoing loud sounds of helicopters and sirens from the protests only intensified his concern. In an effort to maintain some normalcy, Deanna decided it was best for Jaden to stick to his school routine believing that the familiar surroundings and the presence of his peers might help soothe his anxiety. This decision to send Jaden to school during such turbulent times turned out to be a critical moment in his life, as Jaden got ready for school. The routine was comforting yet imbued with a new sense of mission. He dressed, ate his breakfast, and packed his backpack, all while contemplating how he could make a significant difference. Little did he know, the next steps he would take on his way to school would set the stage for a transformative experience. The post quickly went viral, spreading the message of kindness and understanding far beyond their local community. This remarkable act of empathy and courage resonated with many, underscoring the profound influence one young individual could have on his community and beyond. In Charlotte, despite the lingering undercurrent of unrest, young Jaden continued his education, striving to concentrate on his studies amidst the surrounding chaos. Unbeknownst to anyone, this particular day would mark a significant shift in Jaden's perception and reaction to the ongoing events. After the first school days since the onset of protests triggered by a recent shooting, Deanna, Jaden's mother, was driving him home when a news report about the protests and the resulting injuries to several residents and police officers came on the radio. Having discussed the protests at school, where he was taught to see police as protectors and helpers, a view reinforced by friendly officer visits to his school, Jaden found himself conflicted after hearing about the violence, the news greatly disturbed him, and he spent the car ride home in deep contemplation, trying to align the day's lessons with the harsh realities presented in the broadcast. By the time they arrived home, Jaden was determined, encouraged by the supportive cheers from his schoolmates and the comforting words of his teachers earlier that day, motivated, Jaden devised a sincere plan to make a difference. He eagerly shared his idea with Deanna to visit the local police station to offer hugs and donuts to the officers there, aiming to spread love and positivity. Although initially surprised, Deanna supported her son's initiative and added her own touch by stopping at Dunkin' Donuts to pick up several boxes of donuts before they headed to the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department. Equipped with a homemade free hug sign, Jaden's simple act of kindness touched the hearts of the officers who were both surprised and pleased by his gesture, they expressed their gratitude by giving him badge stickers, taking photos with him, and engaging in heartfelt interactions. The visit not only boosted morale but also made local headlines, emphasizing the positive impact of Jaden's actions on the community and the police. Deanna, proud and touched by her son's empathy and bravery, captured these moments on her camera. She documented Jaden's beaming smiles as he posed with the officers, his face aglow with the joy of making a positive impact. 
The emotional climax of the day came when Deanna decided to further support her son's compassionate mission by sharing the photos and story on social media, where it quickly captured the hearts of people everywhere. By documenting their visit and sharing it on Facebook, they extended the message of kindness and community solidarity even more broadly. This move significantly increased the impact of Jaden's act, encouraging others to embrace acts of kindness within their own locales. In the aftermath of the protests in Charlotte, Deanna was uncertain about public reaction to her decision to broadcast her son's touching act online, she turned to social media to share their narrative, aiming to shine a beacon of hope and positivity during a tumultuous period for their city. Charlotte was struggling with intense protests that had led to division, destruction, and violence. Prompting Deanna to spotlight her young son's compassionate response to the chaos surrounding their community, as Deanna's post gained momentum and eventually went viral, it sparked widespread interest and concern. People from various places started to question their safety, the severe conditions in Charlotte as shown in the media, and what had inspired Jaden, a mere five-year-old, to perform such a meaningful act of kindness, while many inquiries were straightforward. Others were more complicated to address as the story circulated across multiple social media platforms. The national attention on the Charlotte protests meant that news of Jaden's kind act reached a wider audience, resulting in a deluge of diverse reactions. Many were moved by the young boy's empathy and impressed by the values Deanna had instilled in her son. This positive reception was accompanied by a swell of support, with people eager to share gifts, kind messages, and donations to support various initiatives in Charlotte. However, not all feedback was encouraging. Some local residents and readers expressed skepticism, suspecting that Deanna had been incentivized to cast the police in a favorable light while others criticized the media for concentrating on Jaden's story rather than the underlying issues that triggered the protests. These reactions were difficult for Deanna to process, but she understood the roots of the distrust. In the midst of the support, there were also darker, more disheartening responses. Some individuals resorted to making racist comments toward Jaden and Deanna, using slurs and derogatory terms. Despite the negativity, Deanna chose to focus on the positive feedback and protect her young son from the harshness of such bigotry, as the story continued to spread, reaching more social media platforms. Jaden and Deanna found themselves increasingly in the spotlight. The media's interest in hearing more about their experience only heightened the visibility of their actions, further enhancing the discussion around the events in Charlotte. Increased media attention further highlighted Jaden's story captivating audiences everywhere with the tale of a young boy eager to shine a light in bleak times. When Deanna was asked about her son Jaden's deeds, she couldn't hide her immense pride. Marveling at the significant lessons that children can teach us during tough periods, she explained that the initiative was Jaden's own idea, and her role was simply to support his benevolent endeavors. Jaden, for his part, was overjoyed to discuss his actions. He was delighted by the chance to distribute donuts and hugs to local police officers, actions that filled him with happiness, when given the opportunity to express his feelings. Jaden sincerely shared his hope for the safety of the officers, wishing that no harm would befall them. The local police showed their appreciation for Jaden by taking a group photo with him and proudly posting it on their Facebook page. They wanted to commend his extraordinary spirit at such a young age. Both the post from Deanna and that of the police department helped to propel Jaden's story to a wider audience, eventually catching the attention of ABC News, despite feeling nervous at first. Jaden agreed to an interview to talk about his experiences with the Charlotte Police Department. In the interview, it was astonishing to see such maturity and empathy from a five-year-old. When questioned about what inspired him, he paused timidly until his mother encouraged him to speak. His sincere words touched many. As he spoke of his wish to spread joy in a time marked by sadness and hurt, he was glad that people were safe and not gravely injured. Highlighting his pleasure in seeing others happy, Jaden's words not only surprised Deanna but also touched many listeners, becoming a source of motivation. With his mother's steadfast support, Jaden was able to fulfill his dream of fostering positivity and contributing to the recovery process after protests in his hometown of Charlotte. He reached out to the police with donuts and hugs, sending a strong message of love. The entire story emphasizes the importance of kindness and the impact of setting a positive example for younger generations. Deanna's attitude and support were crucial in guiding Jaden's actions, which in turn inspired millions across the country and around the world. Today, 
Jaden and his mother continue their efforts, spreading kindness wherever they go. They live in Charlotte, North Carolina, a place that stands as a testament to the deep impact of acts of kindness. The local community is still on a path of recovery from previous traumas and is actively engaging in collective efforts to develop and flourish. Jaden, who is now much older, continues to exhibit his reserved personality and insightful disposition. He takes pleasure in making valuable contributions to his community and remains determined to be a force for good, inspired by his mother, Deanna. Do you have any thoughts after hearing the above two stories? We'd like to hear your thoughts. Tell us in the comments section. That's all for today's story. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up. See you next time.